Hello beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel. This may not be the happiest video intro, but yeah, today's video I will be doing another book vlog featuring the book Heartless by Marissa Mayer. Um, as you can see, my condition is not that good because I just got vaccinated yesterday and my left arm is really swollen. All I did was today, all I did was um, scroll through my social medias and sleep and now I really feel like reading back again. So there you have it. We shall see if um, I will enjoy this book. Yes. Welcome back to Okay guys, take it from the top louder. A one, two. Sachi Cybery YouTube Cyber channel. What's you choo choo choo? Oh my gosh, this braces. You know it's a tradition of mine, well, maybe not a tradition but a habit, to look for the fan art with the book that I'm reading. So currently, it's Heartless and I'm scrolling through Pinterest what does the character looks like or something like that. So there, we have a good fan art. ta -da! See? It feels like I'm looking also onto the spoilers. So yeah, I mean like it's a, a big habit of mine. Not only in books but also in K-dramas. I noticed that whenever I start a K-drama, I have to look it up to YouTube first and see like those moments or those like scenes that are really popping up. So yeah, I know what to expect for. I cannot see much of the spoilers in this fan art. Wait! Okay, what? Whoa, okay, this is a spoiler, okay? The jest and the and cat. Okay, that is a spoiler. <laughs> you know, like five minutes ago or maybe like seconds ago, I'm just saying that these fan arts doesn't have spoilers in them. But guess what? They already have and I just didn't notice. Okay, I'm done with the spoilers. I am ready to get back into reading. Currently on chapter 3 now. I'm done with chapter 1 and 2. We're just looking out what her hobbies are. We're following a character named Kath. And her hobbies, she was introduced as a baker. She has a love for baking. And that was that so far. And I feel like the character of her mother is like those usual stepmother-like something like a mother character that would force you to do something that you don't want. Something like that. I'm getting that vibe from her mother. So let us see in chapter number three. Hey guys, I'll be putting you here because I filmed earlier. And I filmed earlier with this position. And you can see the reflection through my eyeglasses. And it is not pleasing to see. So I'll just put you here. Do not mind the background. And yeah, and do not mind my rubber, which is in the middle of my teeth because it was prescribed by my dentist. So going back to this book, I am currently on chapter 7. And I know I am really slow in reading this. And considering it has 400 pages, I might, I might, um finish this for two weeks i'm not so sure it really depends on the story if i'm hooked up or not but so far while reading it it is like i am reading a disney movie i don't know because there are animals that are talking there are like um inanimate objects that are also talking it really feels it real feels it really gives me of course alice in wonderland and beauty and the beast vibes so i don't know it's just really a disney movie in general and now we are introduced with tons of the characters especially the main ones which are Catherine, the King, and the Jester. So the Jester was introduced in the story quite oddly, but I don't know. It was very extravagant. His introduction in the story was quite extravagant. It's what you can see talaga from a Disney movie. I look like an eggnog, but I'm not complaining. It's just like this. Okay, I'll not be putting you onto my worst angle because you can see my double chin. I will be putting you in this kind of angle so that you can see my whole face. So, um, update with the Heartless. It is boring and I have to admit it. I am currently on chapter 19, page 163 and there's nothing much going on. Especially like, I was really expecting it to be very uh, interesting because it's Heartless. 
and a lot of people were raving about this book and some of the people hated this book then i just want to check if it really buys for me but then it's not i mean like so far so far that's like my thoughts boring period and i have nothing to say about that really activated this is like you know my go-to outfit well go-to outfit i have an outfit for reading can you imagine <laughs> this is like my go-to whenever i'm reading just slump on something that is really comfortable and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of the day i okay i look like a baby i look like baby spencer Yay! <laughs> who's a hungry baby me <laughs> Then open your face. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Baby wolf mush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just watched the new season of I Carly. See, this video is going nowhere. I swear. Um, like a minute ago, we're just reading this is book, and then now we're talking about iCarly. Yeah, I look like maybe Spencer. Okay, okay, I have to stop. Let's read. Wow, the lighting here is great. Like, literally great. Would you look at that? Yeah, <laughs> the source of light of my mom's plant. So we will use that as our lighting for today. Just a quick discussion about the book. What I noticed is that the one that is keep on going with this plot is number one, the Jabberwock, the attack of the Jabberwock. And number two, um, the love triangle that we're trying to see from Catherine to the Jester and to the King. I think that's how the story goes. Oh gosh. Hi guys, I'm on my lazy position. I was just reading The Heartless and then I saw the praises for The Heartless. Here it says, Um, what Gregory Maguire did for the Wicked Witch, Mayer does for Louise Carroll's Queen of Hearts, tracing her arc from a teen with the dreams of owning her bakery into a murderous mad woman. So, it gives us a big clue. Was she murder the king the jester the jabberwock i think so a big <laughs> i just found a big spoiler <laughs> it's so zoomed in i went across tiktok and found um like tiktoks about it or short videos about the book like the aesthetic or whatsoever just to make me motivated and give a little spice to what i am reading right now <laughs> wait this looks familiar but I do have to go back. I can't stop thinking about you either, Lady Pinkerton. <laughs> Before reading the entire thing, book tabs. Hi guys! So, upon how many days did I start this book? And now I am finally on the last chapter. And I just want to record my raw reaction about this. I don't know, I'm not so sure if my reaction would be boring, but at least, hey, I recorded it. So, yeah chapter 54 um i'll just uh double check it a bit seeing any spoilers okay there's the author's note so this is the last chapter of this book and finally we're on the end of its story i'll just read it right now oh currently right now what's happening in the book um the three sisters is actually stabbing um kath to take her heart and i'm not so sure how will that go uh yeah i'll just read more okay um my reaction to this is that um the three sisters took her heart out so why is she still alive uh, that's my question <laughs> uh, they literally took her a heart out and then and now she's saying her dialogue like 
How are you alive, Catherine? The court joker. He's alive? To be honest, both Peter Peter and Catherine has the same offense. They both did murder a person. So, um, walang lamangan sa kanila. I mean, like, they're both equal. Um, they say an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. So that basically happened in the story. Anyway, uh, okay. I'm trying to comprehend all of my thoughts about the story because it's too rumbled up. Ooh, we the jury find Peter Peter not guilty. I like I, I like the vibe of the king. I I don't know why. It's just like chill, even though um someone was already murdered or what. Like he's just chill. <laughs> she ended her story with off with his head. Now she became a murderer. Okay. Um. Uh, we're done with the story technically, but I will be reading the author's note since I think we need to get more context about this. Yeah. Now I am reading the interview with Marissa Mayer, and to be honest, I am just smiling throughout reading the her answers to these questions because she is so genuine. Okay. Enough about. Um, the whole interview about Marissa Mayer, about the author herself. What are my feelings after reading the book? To be honest, I was not expecting that the person Catherine want to murder is Peter Peter. Because in the middle of the story, which I normally do, I sometimes predict or maybe I sometimes like give those random statements or like those random predictions that I feel like in the end, Catherine's going to murder Jess. I don't know, in my wildest imagination, that's what I am I'm trying to imagine. Was she murder the king? The jester? The jabberwock? But then it didn't happen. Um, it really suit the title. You know the amazing thing while reading books is that if you finish the whole um, if you finish the whole story, you would just realize ah, and that's the reason. Okay, now that I realize I have a lot of meme pictures in one video. Like, everything's compiled. So, hey, if you want to greet me happy birthday, just take a screenshot and send it to me. Happy birthday, Sachi. That's what friends are for. Okay, now I don't know what I'm blabbing about. See ya. reason why it is named Heartless. My thoughts about this as a whole is that I was not expecting expecting her to be very i was not expecting the story to be dark knowing it's an alice in wonderland it's a disney movie and it was also um a former book which took an inspiration to write this um from the start i was actually having second thoughts on why does the author name this book as heartless because the protagonist that we are following is Catherine, which she is described in the book that she's sweet she is a baker she's really innocent but then now i get it when i um have passed the book i get it why um the title suddenly changes into heartless um she became cruel because of the death and the murder of um of jest which of course the one that she loves so yeah that's just like one of my thoughts about this book um to the end of this video i will be rating this book not imagining it to be so dark because knowing marissa mayer who is the author of lunar chronicles it was a light read but then this one it just went from deep deeper deeper <laughs> I'll be rating this book a 2.75 out of a 5 stars. It needs something to it more. It's not enough for the author to end in that kind of situation. I don't know. It feeling ko talaga bitin siya. It's kulang cool for a standalone and I want more stories about this and i want more other theories or maybe even fans could make a new ending 
for the Heartless. Finally, guys, I read the whole book already. It's time to read another one. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Editing Sachi taking a break before we end this video. As you can see on my TikTok post, I actually bought three books yesterday and it's no other than the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And I'm really, really excited to start the Grishaverse series since like everyone's talking about it and it became a Netflix series already. So just stay tuned for my book video about the Grishaverse. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying this already. I have Leigh Bardugo's book! And if you enjoy my review or maybe my book vlog for the Heartless by Marissa Mayer, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for me to read for book vlogs, just comment down below. And I might as well consider it reading. So thank you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! Ready, get set, and start reading. Bye!